We might be able to get a little bit of education done. Really not much, though. But we'll give it an effort. Mm-hmm. Johan, that's already been fixed. That's been fixed by the time you've said that comment. That's not even chat lag. Right over here? It's been plumbed. We're okay. Don't you worry about it. Boom, ba -doom, boom. I don't know why I like to say plumbed. It's been plumbinged. So many guards over here. And rightfully so. Like, I don't know if the guards automatically, like, prefer, like, high-sec areas. Uh, infirmary over here is set to shared. But we'll do that just in case it leads to any weirdness. Like, someone getting dragged over here and then not being able to escape. That would be bad. Mm-hmm. So we're good on these rooms. Okay, like, this is not just dirt. Like, all the fire damage, I don't know if it like, ever gets cleaned. I'm, I'm not sure. We might need uh, we might need more janitors. Wow, that is such a cluster of people. Why are they all yellow in the face? Right? Is, that's not just me, right? Oh, is it the lights? I think the lights are just making them be yellow-casted here. Um, this, there's no way this is good. Bang up. There's no way that is a good idea. Yeah, I'm going to have to change everything here into a um, into a bigger prison doors. Let me do that. Uh, dismantle. And, oops. Dismantle. I'm going to get rid of the normal doors here. And then replace them with the large jail door. Oh, no, we still need the door to be removed. Come on, remove the old door. Get over here. Because that bottleneck is brutal. There, one of those. And one of those. And then we need more metal detector. I shouldn't have to put any electrical outlets because it should just piggyback off the old one. Okay, so that'll be a nice and wide door. They'll go and dismantle the wall at the same time, and we'll have a lot more throughput. Okay, meanwhile, over here, I'm going to start by figuring out the kitchen. So we're going to go... Um, cooker, cooker. The ratio is about two cookers to one fridge. So we can do something like this, like this. JK Ami, thanks for the sub. Whoops. Move that there. Um, I guess we have enough room for another pair of those like that, right? So we can go cooker, 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 oops. Like that. this and then sinks at the bottom like that good and then something like that okay I'm gonna let these uh oh this is going to be locked open same thing over here once these get built which you still have to wait for um, I'm still on bang up. I can cancel that. Sorry, guys. You were banged up so long. But trust me, I'd like that. There was some shit was going to go down. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my room over here. I'm going to make sure to trim the yard down so that it's got a gap from the building. So they don't cluster there. They move a little bit more into the yard itself. I think I'm going to feel much better about that. This can be open. This can stay open. There we go. So now we've got a nice double wide hallway. Should be a little bit less jammed. A little bit more space over here. There's a guy overdosing. So yeah, every night again someone said like there's one one of the symbols that pops up, which I think I've missed, um, is a guy overdosing. And if we don't deal with him, he's going to die. But, oh well. Don't do drugs, it's bad. You don't want to overdose? Stop doing drugs. Especially in my prison. Um, for the sake of simplicity, let's do one of those, one of those, 
Only losers and dead prisoners do drugs. And at least the dead prisoners stop. You know, after they die. Mm-hmm. We still have lots of juice over here. Should be able to run the kitchen on that. I mean, it's starting to get a little stressed, and these cookers will use a lot of power, but I think that's still going to be fine. Probably put metal detectors in the kitchen doors so they don't steal spoons and such for tunnels. Uh, yeah, but we have, we have metal detectors on their way in and out of this entire complex, right? I don't have the metal detector right at the kitchen, but I do have it over here, so they're going to get caught one way or another. All right, here as well. We still have this random metal detector over here, which I suppose I can dismantle and use somewhere else. Because, yeah, there's one here, 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 and here, and there. There's no other way out of the kitchen. We'll have a metal detectors over here. Uh, rather, over here, I should say. Again, I could put one in the kitchen, which would just make it... You'd find it a little bit sooner, but I don't think it's actually important in any way whatsoever. Uh, rooms. Kitchen. Rem. And a nice, spacious canteen. Like that. Serving tables. You actually don't really need... Uh, that'll block the door. You don't really need that many serving tables. It seems like, but, you know, may as well pop a few extra down. Like that. And yeah, I'll keep spacing these things out. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so we had one too many. Ah, oh, that canceled the power as well. Don't do that. Put that back. Ah! Keep clicking on the wrong thing. There we go. Mm-hmm. Two, three. There's a nice bit of space there. Which will give us a place to put some phones and some extra TVs in this room for them to chill out with. So we don't have an excess of actual tables here, although I think we'll have plenty. I suppose I could put some over here as well. So not right at the door, but maybe something like this and like that. I think that would be okay. <laughs> They're coming here for their meal, even though it's not yet operational. Sorry, you guys are going to be real disappointed. I'm terribly sorry, but there's not going to be any food there for you. I'm really, really sorry. But on the bright side, we'll give you some extra phone booths, which I will have to remember to tap later on. And some TVs. And you know what? We can even give you a pool table in here. Over here. Bam. So I'm really sorry about that. We will deploy an armed patrol in here. Say, over that way. Mm-hmm. Need another door to the yard and the other canteen. Well, I don't need it. They can pass through. I guess we could. It might it might increase some of the flow through. Um, do they go straight to the yard after eating? Oh, they do. So we could actually make things go a lot faster if we did that. Okay. I'll buy that for a dollar. We'll put a jail door down there. We need metal detectors as well. I don't think I clued into the fact that yard time is right after one of the meals. And so that will go a long way towards um, making things go a little bit faster. Anything to avoid some bottlenecks is good. All right, free time, lockups. Actually, this seems like a good time to shake down. Got some new people. We got a lot of places to check. Um, I'm very tempted to get a few extra guards, and I think, in fact, that would be an excellent idea. We're making great money. Let's go up to, like, 60 guards. There we are. Keep the doors flowing. Make the shakedowns go a lot faster. Be able to beat up some of the people that are troublemakers as soon as possible. Um, we have to make sure to tap... Uh, these phones, I think, are being tapped. Aren't they? Uh, how do I check this? Utilities. Show wires. Yeah, although these are not. Oh, all right. Um, yeah, connect mode. And yeah, I'm going to put a new... Actually, I should have done that already. But I'm going to put in a new phone tap over here. 
Come on. Show me. There we go. Phone taps. This one's not going to do much right now, but... Uh, you had a taser? <laughs> okay. Not good. I'm happy we found that one. You know what? I'm going to get an extra couple of armed guards to kick around. Seems like a good idea. Still waiting for the power to be delivered over here. We do have the construction queued up, though. So, it'll get there. We just have a lot of things queued. Um, okay. Is that, that, is that found drugs, or is that the overdose? That's the found drug one. Like, I don't... I can't tell the difference. You have matches. That is... Listen. Oh, no. There's cigarettes. But still. Stop trying to set things on fire. <laughs> Whether it's your room or something you put in your mouth that gives you cancer. Just stop. Stop doing that. It's not a good idea. Where are my construction workers? I suppose right now they're going to be, yeah, all jammed up somewhere on the basis that we don't have the extra guard kicking around. There we go. Thank you very much for opening that, because I can't right-click on these doors when there's so many people in the way. Some skizzers. No problemo. Overdosing is green. Okay, and persists for a long time. I will try to note. I think I'm just... The problem is, is this is you're used to this noise. Now, obviously, during a shakedown, it makes sense. But, you know, whenever someone passes through a metal detector and you find something, you get that little bubble. So I'm, I'm used to, like, not really paying attention to it, generally speaking, because it happens all the time. It just kind of becomes part of the background noise of the game. Um, and so with those overdose ones, it's the same thing. Plus, I don't know if I recognize that the green one was an overdose and therefore was really, really, really bad. Um, do these guys get fresh uniforms ever? I'm not sure they do. He wants literacy. You have a book. You, you, have, you can read. You're locked up there long enough, I can guarantee you. Your clothing is getting a little bit worse. And there as well. Yeah, I don't know. Like, if I put a laundry in here, will janitors do it? I know janitors will help with laundry. I don't really trust these guys to work. At all. Not one bit. Plus, unless I went and flagged all these other zones to be max sec only which I suppose I could, um, then these guys might go somewhere else to work. Which I don't want. That is a mess of food. Why are you making... Like, why are you leaving this as such a mess? You have refrigerators. I don't know what's going on here. So we got a 21 prisoner intake, which is fine. Actually, we can take in 23. Right, shared capacity, 220, we currently have 197, yeah. Still waiting for this crap to get built. What, where are my workers? What are they up to? What are you doing? You're gonna rest? Okay. Because I didn't have that many things under construction. Watch it, like, I've just, like, lost a ton of workers. No, I've got 16, I'm fine. There we go, you're gonna wire some of this stuff up. Somewhere. Install electrical cable. Oh, you can take the long way around to get over here. Which I guess someone's got to do. You can zone that airlock area staff only. It was work fine. Prisoners will be brought in and stay inside. Okay. All right. Well, let's give it a try. Like, that was my initial plan with the airlock, right? That's what I talked about. And I was like, maybe I don't want to do that. So if I do this... Because I do know that um, prisoners get escorted to their cells. So they will be able to get in here just fine. Um, it's just, I don't know, can they get to, like, par parole hearings or whatever? Oh, who am I kidding? These guys will never get paroled. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, and with that in mind, let's go ahead and make, what size does a laundry have to be? I mean, it has to actually be spacious enough to get things to work. So there's no actual size requirement, just because I made this infirmary so small. So I'm going to do something like that, just to give us a little bit more room to work with. And we'll put in a regular door over here. And obviously, we'll have to make sure to have a CC camera, CCTV camera in there. I guess I can queue that up now. No. Any chance it's a real hole? Almost certainly not. We did shake down very recently, so I don't feel the need to put another one yet. Yeah, workers there. I'm, I'm seriously like... Oh! 
We just had a, like a massive set of trees finish growing. That's where they are. They're busy chopping down all the trees. Okay, that will give me a whole whack pile of money, which is good. We're still not really turning a huge profit. I mean, we're making profit per day, which is fine. We got positive cash flow. We're spending it like faster than it comes in, but we're spending it on like legit growth. Okay, so that's what's going on with all my workers. Fair enough. Can't complain about that. Do 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 do. Add more visitation. One hundred twenty-two families waiting. Are they? Oh wow. So I guess there's a maximum number. Wow. I did not notice that. Had no. I didn't realize we were like there was such a queue for the visits. So now we can take twice as many per day. We might build more visitation rooms. Oh, also, I was going to build a laundry room down here. I suppose, actually, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for all this to finish before I build any other rooms. I did start this one, but that's all right. Um, laundry. Someone's getting tased. That should be plenty of laundry machines. And I can't remember what side. If they have to work this from the top to the bottom. Here. We'll put a few and then we'll remove whichever ones don't work. And use them in the other room. That I will build soon. <laughs> okay, still lots of constru construction pending over here. How are the trees? I do have like two forestry areas, so... There's a lot of demand when these trees come to uh, to grow. But a lot of our money is coming from these exports. Look at this. Two days without incidents. Go me. I don't know what our record in this prison is. Like, around six days, maybe, when it was a lot smaller. It's going to be much, much harder to do that now. Um, let's take a look at our informant, like this view here. <laughs> yeah, TJ is dead. Good. I just wanted to make sure we don't have any um, legendary prisoners in our... Uh. Oh, you know what I forgot? Yeah, see, you're going to get in trouble. I blocked all this off, but I never zoned this to staff only, which is the idea. So that way, prisoners are not allowed to go through here. You there, buddy. You're not allowed to go in there. You're not. I know you're waiting for someone to open this door. There you go, but you're not allowed to go through. So you can't pick that up. You can get deliveries thrown over here where everyone can see you. Same thing over here, buddy. Not allowed. Forbidden. Uh, now they can't get to the psychologist's office. So, how do I change whose office is where? So, let's dezone both of these. If I rezone this one, who takes it? Who's going to claim this office? The lawyer claimed it. Let's fire the lawyer. I had a shrink somewhere. Does shrink not feel the need to like claim an office? I don't understand. Where is my psychologist? Are you taking a break? Are you running a class somewhere? Are you seriously going to flip out? In the visitation office? That is not good, Reska. You're not even a particular bad person. You're just flipping out. Whining that you don't get enough exercise? I suppose I can give them more yard time. Let's be explicit about their yard time. And then maybe give them some more exercise machines. Uh, what is it called? Weight? Weight benches. Whoops. Okay, it's fine. There, weight benches all over the place. Oh, there we go. The psychologist just claimed it. Wonderful. So now, at that minute, we're going to make another office here. And then we will rehire our lawyer. 
Oh, block, because there's no line of sight. And, uh, of course, there's a death, obviously. Um, and then what we can do is change our deployment here to say, anyone can use the shrink's office. This is staff only. There. So now they can reach here again for their classes. That's a lot of deaths. We're going to check on that in just a second. Let me reschedule the programs for the behavioral therapy. Um, oh, it's in this common room where we have no vision. We don't have a CCTV in the common room? No, we do. Inactive. Yeah, they're not cycling through quickly enough. Um... We definitely need to get more actual monitors going on here. Oh my god, that is so many dead people. I, I do, I am very entertained when they get tased. You get the wire and then they just shake up and down. And this Davis here is just on the phone. He's like, dude, uh, I don't want any part of this at all. <laughs> at all. Yeah, no needs are dire. Still waiting for a lot of electrical cables to get installed down here. They're working on it. Benches, everything. It's a big prison. There's a lot going on. Okay. All right, so these will not work. Good. Okay, so they need to work from the top of the laundry boards. Okay, that is relevant. And then if we check the other laundry room, so top and left. Top and left is how they work the boards. Good to know. I really want this area to finish because these poor guys are coming in for meals and there's just no food waiting for them over here. So in this security office, I will definitely get a new CCTV monitor in here. And maybe change some of the connections. I don't know. Whoa, he was flipping out. Look at this. He's sweeping very, very aggressively. Aggressive sweeping. Mm -hmm. well, listen, Davis, keep your head down. Don't do anything bad. And you'll be eligible, eligible for parole at some point. You'll be very happy. We might end up building a second visitation room. The reception is probably a lot bigger than it needs to be, for example. There you go, play pool. They're coming to eat. Sorry, no food. No here, no food here for you. Um, I will go, and before I forget, hire some more cooks as well. There we go. We'll have an even 20 throughout our prison. It's way more cooks than we actually need. And unfortunately, these guys still won't be able to eat. A lot of the uh, machines are in. Right now, they're mostly just waiting for power. Just waiting for that connection to finish. We've got everything laid out. They had to walk so far from the deliveries here or the storage room at the top. Oh well. Um, oh, uh, is it worth doing that now? I suppose so. Put down some paving stones here. And here, and why not that way too? It'll keep our, um, our workers a little bit busy, but it's very fast to put that stuff down. All these prisoners didn't get fed. I suspect we might get some extra deaths in the next couple of days as people freak out about the lack of food. I'm sorry. It just takes a long time to build everything. Okay, you know what? Let's get it going. There's even some cables here, so they can get a little bit of work done. Yeah, install the TVs first. That's important. It's not the electricity we need. It's the TVs. Oh, some of the electricity is now flowing, finally. So these devices will begin to work. I forgot we need to run a water pipe over here. So we'll extend this one and then bring it down to there and then to there and everything will have some water good finding some screwdrivers like i don't know why they're still so clustered here i guess they get into the yard and they're like yeah this is good enough i don't need to do anything else we you know what um yard 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 let's make this much bigger Give them a lot more space to sort of wander around in. There we go. Any chance it's a real tunnel? Could be. We'll do another shakedown a little bit later. So this is finally shaping up. The, this prison block down here will finally get to eat. If we take a look at the food distribution, these guys are lucky. They're going to have a lot of space. And actually, this red line means... What? Oh, I think the people from here are going to eat there because they don't have enough food or something. 
I'm not sure. We'll see what happens soon when the demand actually gets met. I'm not sure what that symbol would mean. Like, it's not going from here to there. It's not going from the kitchen to there. Because multiple kitchens can feed, like, a canteen, I think. I think it's like the overflow from here will go that way. A knife? Really? You got a knife in from your visitors? See, this is why I don't allow more visitation. It's just trouble. Well, if the kitchen isn't ready, take away the canteen label and the prisoners won't use it. That's a good point. I probably should have done that earlier, but now it's fine. Now the kitchen is actually functional. Um, you know, not everything is in there yet, but they will have enough food there really soon. Um, the other thing I can do is prison labor. Get some prisoners working there. That's fine. As soon as the construction here gets complete, then I will build a laundry here as well and make sure to assign that. And that will be the end of our prison architect run for today. In about 10 minutes, just over 10 minutes, we're going to be starting Galaciv 3, Galactic Civilization 3, an excellent 4X strategy game. Looking forward to that quite a bit. And you know what we need over here? Power. Also water. Speaking of which, I am very thirsty. Da 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 da. I'm going to get some actual water soon. Um, should turn off that intake. Otherwise, very bad things are going to happen. Technically, we can take in four more prisoners. There we go. As people die, get paroled. We haven't moved anyone to Supermax in a while. We've got... Did I, not, I guess... Did I not build another phone tap? I thought I was going to. Well, I was certainly going to. Right there. And we're going to connect to there because there's not enough vision in the library. Or the morgue, I don't know how much the morgue needs it. Now, how can I break some of these connections? Like, that would be the thing. I could clear all connections, but that seems insane. So there, there's definitely things are being overloaded. Be nice if there was a button to like automatically spread the load of connections. Like clear all connections. Every camera that needs to be hooked up, like spread it out among all the CCTV monitors. Get a nice even distribution. But I suppose you know you you want to make sure the player has things to do. You don't want to automate everything. That would be that would be crappy. All right, so a bigger yard, more space for them to run around in it. Uh, we can get some more paving stones, say down here and down here to get into the yard. Ain't nothing wrong with that. A few more going that way. This kitchen is finally running. Everyone should mostly be able to eat now. Do I have metal detectors over here? I do not. Metal detector. Boom. One, two. Still don't feel the need to put one in the kitchen. Although, no, don't need it. But you know what? For whatever reason, I'm going to put one in this time. Just because I want to. <clears throat> look at these guys. They're finally getting a proper meal. How does the food distribution look? Yeah, it still does that thing. I don't know why that is. They've got an excess of supply. What does this represent? Are ex extra meals maybe just getting delivered over there? No, because this is demand bits. I don't know. All right, that is mostly done. The laundry over here will get done soon. Um, I can actually tell, sure, you know what? We can assign some high-sec prison labor over there. This camera. Connecting up there. We're going to make sure there's some redundancy over here. Because I do not trust these um, these prisoners, obviously. So I have to keep a very close eye on them. The common room. That was one that needed a little bit extra monitoring as well. So there's a couple of different machines that can monitor... Um, is this the common room? I think so. A couple of machines that can monitor this camera, which should increase the chance that someone's looking at any given time. But yeah, I may I might want a new um, security room complex going on. So let me go ahead and foundationify what will be our laundry room over here. I don't think we'll have time to finish it up, though, because we're going to have to take a break very soon. I'll try to take a slight longer break, like five minutes instead of three minutes, which is normally what I do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, doesn't need to be a staff door, I don't think. We'll get that going over there. And let her rip. Laundry room has no lights. That's true. Yeah, it is actually true. I guess just because of its size, it didn't end up with any. 
There we go. We'll get one in there. Just for say. Might not have had power running into it either. Yeah. The, uh, no, I guess it was flowing from the outside. There we go. Now it's actually lit up. So we've got the CCTV. We've got the lights. We'll wait for the power and the water to be delivered. Actually, I think the water's been delivered. Yeah, just needs to wait for the power to finish hooking up. And then we can start running a laundry in here, which is good. I still like... It's all still fire damaged over here. I guess that just never gets cleaned? Crazy. Still making good money per day. Some of it does come from the export of the trees that we have it. Also, a little bit of bonus money from not having any incidents. Go us! It's been a whole day since someone's been killed in our prison. Uh, that room got built really fast. Do -do, do -do 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 -do. Turn it around that way. And room... Laundry. Oops. There's my timer to remind myself that I gotta switch games. Uh, let's get a big row of laundry. Can you not rotate these? I can't. That rotates. Laundry machines don't rotate? Can I still just put them all on one edge? Does it matter? I don't, I'm sure it would work, but you know what? This is going to be more than enough laundry machines. I'm going to put them all on the north side anyway. <laughs> Probably way more ironing boards than are necessary. And then a bunch of baskets. Here, we'll go crazy. These get moved around all over your prison, so we'll do that. Um, can the CCTV... Tell you what, just cancel that just in case. And that one. I probably fine, but just in case that was going to mess up the CCTV, I'm going to do that and that. Okay. So, uh, we're going to wrap up this uh, session of Prison Architect. Um, I would like to keep working on this. Maybe we'll see if we can have like a 500 prisoner high security prison. Because it feels to me like that would be a pretty amazing challenge, and I would like to see if, uh, if we can swing that. So we probably will continue this next week. But I'm also very anxious to be handling some Galciv 3. So prepare yourself for that. We're going to take a short break. And then uh, in a few minutes, we'll be back with, uh, with that. Thank you very much for watching. And catch you on the flip side.